Hey kiddos, thanks so much for joining me for the fifth episode of Chronicles and Collecting where we're going to check out the Chagokin RX-78-2 Gundam HK Custom. This thing is all... There we go. So in episode three, we did a little bit of a primer on the original Mobile Suit Gundam as well as two of the main mobile suits that showed up in that series, the Zaku-2 and the RX-78-2 Gundam. And the development of those mobile suits continued throughout the Universal Century, and we saw them in Zeta, Double Zeta, Unicorn, Char's Counterattack, Hathaway, F-91. But as you could imagine, there were some lines of development that kind of went nowhere. At the end today, we're going to take a look at one of those lines right here. Now, at the end of the One Year War in 0080, development of the mobile suits and the Gundam line went to Anaheim Electronics, which wound up basically becoming the one manufacturer of all the mobile suits for Xeon and the Federation, as well as all the other different factions throughout the you know, next 20, 30 plus years of the Universal Century. But Anaheim Electronics was a huge conglomerate. They did everything from cosmetics to mobile suits to electronics to vacations at their own private colonies. And, which was the style at the time, they had a streaming service where they tried to push all of their intellectual property on the, holder, uh, on the viewers. Now, the next Gundam came as a collaboration between, between Anaheim Electronics Mobile Suit Division and one of their IP divisions called Sanrio. And that led to the RX-78 Dash 2 Gundam HK edition or the Hello Kitty edition. Now I think probably everybody listening this far knows that that's obviously a joke and I, I made up most of that although Anaheim was a huge conglomerate uh, in, the in the Gundam universe. So what this actually is is um, part of a I believe a Hello Kitty anniversary and they did a bunch of crossovers with the Chugokan line. They did a um, Gundam one, they did a Zaku one, they did a Mazinger one, they did a Mazinger in Hello Kitty colors, they did a Hello Kitty in Mazinger colors, so there's a bunch of um, cool stuff. This guy, I just, you know, I saw it and I felt like I, it just seemed like way too much fun. There's like a little Hello Kitty that pilots it. Um, it's adorable. I had to check it out. Now I'm kind of doing this one out of order because this came in the mail the other day and although I was excited to open it, which I am, it kind of sounded like there was a part or two loose so I might need to return it so I wanted to get the unboxing done uh, earlier than later uh, in case I did have to return it. But so let's take a look and see what we got. But you know, we're flying and blind, could be in pieces, might be perfect condition, I couldn't really tell you. All right, so let's take a look. Um, you know, for anyone who doesn't know, you know, Hello Kitty is part of a set of like adorable characters from this company, Sanrio, and you see it from everything from, you know, animations to stationery and, and plushes and, you know, everything else you could want. So, um, you know, it made complete sense that they would, they would have a Gundam as well. All right, let's take a look here. All right, well, on first glance, it looks like everything is in one piece, which I'm very happy about. Okay, and I don't think I'm gonna be able to get to these instructions with these gloves on. So let's take a look. Oh, we might not actually need these instructions. How complicated can this be, right? All right, let's see what we got. So first, like, so first we have a little Hello Kitty pilot in a kind of Gundam themed suit. focus here. Obviously that's adorable. Uh, it's like a little stand for something. Obviously as, we, as we've seen with some of the other uh, Chugokin figures, kind of specifically the Big O and the Gal Gygar, you know they usually come with like a nice stand that has like a little nameplate. I don't know what this says. I'm going to assume it says Hello Kitty. Probably some Japanese writing on here. We can see if it matches. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. It doesn't seem like it says Chigokin, um, but I mean, if you don't know Japanese and your friends don't know Japanese, they could say anything that you wanted to. We'll say it says uh, Watch Chronicles and Collecting on YouTube. And then finally, we have the figure itself. Wow, this is a lot more substantial than I was expecting. I 
Um, don't own a lot of pop vinyls, but I was kind of expecting, you know, it's kind of the same size as one of those. I was sort of expecting it to be about the same weight, but this thing is really heavy. You can maybe do like some curls with this or something. Um, it's really top heavy. I don't think it's gonna, nope, I don't think it's gonna stand up without the stand. Um, again, looks like everything in here is uh, in one piece, which I'm really happy about. Looks like it's got some sort of, I don't know what that, I guess that's some sort of like weapon. And of course it also comes with Hello Kitty's sort of signature bow, Oops. which hopefully that's supposed to happen. I think it is, looks like that's in two pieces. All right, I think I am going to actually take a look at these instructions. Anyway, let's see what we got here. So, you know, just got like a nice little picture of him on top, or, or her, I don't know if Hello Kitty is a, a, a man cat or a woman cat. I don't think that this figure is going to give us any clues either. So again, as always, you know, pretty typical of this line, everything's written in Japanese, but um, I think this one should be straightforward enough that we can um, figure it out. It's actually kind of nice as it seems like on the, wow, this is incredibly complicated. Um, everything kind of fits in the bottom of here, all the little stands and accessory pieces. So that's nice. And it seems like this thing does like a variety of different poses. I'm trying to figure out what it was that I was hearing. Maybe it was like these little screw things were, were um, going back and forth or something. All right, so let's take a quick look here. Hopefully this won't require too much work. Obviously, you could either put the Hello Kitty uh, right into the cockpit or you could put it on the side. I think it probably looks a little cooler on the side here, so we'll probably do that. Um, you could do one pose where it's like flying. Oh, these aren't screws. These are its hands. These are its like little, little cat hands, I guess. And it's got a little thing where you could like fire them. There goes that. We'll have to grab that before the video is uh, over, which is what I was kind of hoping to avoid. Um, taking a quick look at the figure itself. You know, I mean, it's it's really nice. It's about what you would expect from the Chogokin, but you know, kind of shrunk down. Obviously, you know, as we've kind of discussed in a previous video, the RX-78 Gundam is not the most elaborate Gundam. It doesn't have lots of markings. It's a pretty simple design that was created to be um, you know, produced by toy ma manufacturers in the late 70s, early 80s, and designed to be animated by a kind of animation techniques of, of that time period. So I think it actually lends itself pretty well to the Hello Kitty. It kind of has these like suspenders on that are the Gundam colors. Um, I think that looks actually pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna hit, all right, and we are back here. I kind of understand what the heck is going on with this guy. So uh, I did get the kind of the, uh, the Hello Kitty signature bow on the back there that kind of serves as its wings. What I also figured out is there's this sort of counterweight at the bottom here um, that you can move up or down depending on how you want to weight the figure and that sort of helps a little bit with its top heaviness. It's still a little top heavy. Um, you know, I, I, it's like if, if you went too far back, it kind of would, you know, kind of, um, you know, would not be solid and it would fall backwards but you can get a pretty nice pose um, on the figure. What's also really nice, so it's got this, oops, it's got this, uh, it's got that. Uh, also, you could change the eye colors. Let's try to move it up to the camera here so you can see. So you have like these purple eyes, yellow, and then kind of it like having like a little angry face, like I'm angry at you. I kind of like the angry face. I think I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna go with angry face keep the cockpit closed, but have Hello Kitty uh, right here. But yeah, so this is a pretty nice figure. Um, it's about 60, 65 bucks online. I think even you could pick it up like on Amazon or something like that. It's starting to sell out a little bit. A lot of the Japanese shops have been selling out, selling out of it. So if you want to pick one up, now would probably be a pretty good time. Um, it's a nice little figure here. It's a cool, you know, I don't think that I would probably ever get like a full Hello Kitty uh, figure in one of the lines that I collect. So having, you know, a little bit of a, of a homage to Hello Kitty via Gundam, um, I think is kind of a little 
pretty cool addition. Uh, I like the figure. It's I'm amazed at how much metal is used in this thing. This thing is very heavy. Um, it's very detailed. You can see just all the markings. You know, again, it's a it's a simple design, but the the details and the line work are are really nice. I love that they just tried to pack so much into this figure. You know, there's like three or four different poses you could do. You could have him sitting to match the Hello Kitty. I like there's a little Hello Kitty that goes into the pocket. Um, really cool figure. And uh, something I would definitely recommend if, if you like Hello Kitty and Gundam, um, which I guess I do. Anyway, thanks so much for uh, joining me for this episode, um, kind of the special episode, and, and I'm happy to see that I don't have to process a return to send this guy back. Um, please make sure to join me for the regularly scheduled episode on Wednesday when we're going to be taking a look at uh, Gundam Stardust Memory and the Gundam GP-02A. Thanks again for watching. Check out the other videos. I also put up a review for the new Gundam movie, Mobile Suit Gundam uh, Hathaway, which just came out in Japan um, over the weekend and is going to be hitting uh, U.S. Netflix uh, at the beginning of July. Um, so make sure to check that out if you're interested. It is a spoiler review, though I do have some non-spoiler thoughts at the end. And I'll hopefully catch you uh, on Wednesday for the Stardust Memory Primer and the review of this guy. Thanks so much and keep collecting.